first round of the 60s since January. I know health has been a concern. Good to see you out healthy. You feeling good? Yeah, feeling much better. Um, you know, oh, huge props to my team for getting me back. Healthy is first real injury setback I've had uh, in my career. And I uh, just had some SC joint issues. And uh, I really, you know, huge props to the team at Great House Physical Therapy back home in Vegas. Uh, Dr. Sprouse with Podium Sports Med and, and Curly, uh, Adam Curly out here just for, it takes a, it takes a whole team to get you yeah. uh, feeling good and it's, uh, the sport can be tough on your body sometimes yeah. and uh, it's a hard game and it's really hard when you're not 100%, that's for sure. And your game was in such a good place before the setback, so what was that rev up like to you? I mean, reps last week at the players, you made the weekend, mm -hmm. obviously a difficult golf course, but what is that process like to get back to playing good golf like today like you were seeing early this season? Yeah, I really didn't have expectations last week. I thought if I got to play uh, four rounds of golf, that would be a huge win. And obviously, uh, you make the weekend and your, your expectations start to get a little higher. But um, I was really able to work hard on my short game and putting. And I've been putting and chipping it really well coming in. And I was really happy to see that those uh, those tools have stayed sharp for me. And uh, driver speed's coming back. I'm still probably not 100%, just subconsciously not wanting to, to rip at it completely yeah. full. But I mean, especially these golf courses, you don't need to hit it you know, with 185 ball speed. You just got to get it in play and, and leave it on the right side of the hole and, and chip and putt. So uh, I've been just really, really grateful to be back out and playing and having a ton of fun with it. And given all that, what is your strategy around this place? Because this is a golf course where you really have to think your way around it, don't you? Yeah, this is the first time seeing it. So I'm really uh, relying hard on Hunter for uh, all of his information and Travis for all the walking he's done. Uh, it, it's definitely changed a lot since I got here on uh, and started playing Tuesday morning. Uh, it's a lot firmer. Flyer lies out of the rough. The greens are icy and firm and fast. And uh, it, I know it's going to change a lot. It feels like if it doesn't get rain, it's going to turn purple by this weekend. So I'll definitely be leaning on uh, Hunter and Travis for their expertise around here and just trying to hit it where they tell me. It's a good segue, too, because I thought about it yesterday. I mean, the contrast in colors from fairways to these greens, we're starting to see the Poe pretty much all burning out. Yeah. You've seen greens in transition. How does that lead to the reads? Like, what, what is your strategy in looking at these greens and trying to figure it out? Because, I mean, you're right, it's a sheen to them right mm -hmm. now. And for the people watching at home, I don't know, sometimes there's a green screen, green color, <laughs> and it, I come back in the clubhouse, and I'm like, what tournament are they showing right now? It's These greens are basically brown yeah. um, there's hardly any overseed left on them and uh, it just makes it a very icy surface that ninth green the, the green we just walked off yeah. was it was basically dormant Bermuda and icy and you get you get that shiny one down grain and you know, probably rolled about a 15 and so uh, it was definitely playing a little more break you know, the grain doesn't rip it quite as much and uh, you just know that the first chip hop is going to skid instead of actually grab so it, it just kind of changes but it's all a subconscious feel we've all played these greens and these these consistencies before and it's just going back on uh, previous experience and practice. I like your position. If it turns into a really hard putting week, I think you'd like that too. Good plan today. That's the plan. Thank you. Hey, Beb. You got and it. Just one more. One um, more. Tournament debut. What went into adding this to your schedule? Um, honestly, I've heard from so many players that this is just a fantastic golf course. And uh, I'm a West Coast guy. I play usually play a heavy West Coast swing. And uh, Florida is usually a little different. But everyone kept saying, this doesn't feel like a Florida golf course. And... Um, I got out here, I saw pictures, it kind of looks like the, the golf course I grew up at, Sharon Heights and, and Stanford back in the Bay Area, just tree lines, some elevation change, some sloping fairways, and uh, some kind of small greens and, and target areas. Other than the really dormant Bermuda putting surfaces, it, uh, some of the shots you have to hit off these tees are pretty familiar, and it, like, it really doesn't feel like we're in Florida here, it's, it's kind of fun. So. Was there one shot today or a highlight that stood out to you in your round? I think my best swing of the day was on the eighth hole. It was 241 yards into a pretty good breeze. I was thinking seven wood or four iron, and uh, I honestly thought you know, seven wood with the height and the breeze would go probably about the same distance as the four iron, so I just kind of hit a really strong flighted four and carried it 10 yards further than I even expected to the middle of the green. was pretty happy with that shot. Thank you. Guys, thank, thank you guys. I do have uh, one other question for you. Yeah.